so he's having a really nice time. Well, I'm having a really nice time. I'm not sure if it's really his cup of tea. What? You know, I'm not sure if it's really his thing. What do you mean, it's not really his thing? What's that supposed to mean? It's not really his thing. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Nothing, Harry. It's a fairy tale fucking town, isn't it? How can a fairy tale town not be somebody's fucking thing? How can all those canals and bridges and cobble streets and those churches and all that beautiful fucking fairy tale stuff, how can that not be somebody's fucking thing, eh? What I think I meant to say was... Is the swan well, still there? Yeah, the how swans. How can fucking swans not fucking be somebody's fucking thing, eh? How can that be? What I think I meant to say was when he first arrived, he wasn't quite sure about it. You know, there's that big dual carriageway when you get off the train? I, I, that mightn't have been here when you were here last, Harry. But as soon as he got into, like, the old town proper, and he saw the canals and the bridges and, you know, the swans and that, he just fucking loved it then. Couldn't get enough of it. The medieval part of town. It's just that initial dual carriageway thing sort of put him off for a second. No, I don't remember the dual carriageway. It must be racing. That hasn't spoiled you, has it? No, no, no. It's just that initial thing. And, you know what, as we were walking through the streets, there was this sort of freezing fog hanging over everything. And it made it look almost like a fairy tale or something. And he turned to me, do you know what he said? What did he say? He said, Ken, I know I'm awake, but I feel like I'm in a dream. Yeah? He said that? Yeah. Meaning not in a good dream? Yeah. Of course, like in a good dream. Oh, good. I'm glad he likes it there. I'm glad we were able to give him something. Something good and happy. Because he wasn't a bad kid, was he? Huh? He wasn't a bad kid, was he? Listen, take down this address. Ramstraat 17. That's Ram, like Ram, but with an extra A. Ramstraat 17. You got that? Yes, Ramstraat 17. There'll be a man there tomorrow morning at nine. His name's Yuri. Yuri. He'll give you the gun. Ring me on the public phone at Jimmy Driscoll's about three or four tomorrow after he's done. After what's done? Are you being thick? No. Listen, I like Ray. He was a good bloke, but when it all comes down to it, you know, he blew the head off a little fucking kid. And you brought him in, Ken. So if the buck don't stop with him, where does he stop? Stop with me, Harry. That's an easy one. Don't, don't get shirty, Ken. Listen, I'm just glad I was able to do something for the boy before he went. Do what for the boy? You know, have him get to see Bruges. I'd like to get to see Bruges again before I die. What was it you said again? About, yeah, it's like a dream. I know I'm awake, but I feel like I'm in a dream. <laughs> 